back to another fantastic episode of Ready to Die Fighting. We're doing something a little bit different today. I'm Chris. I'm Nate. And we are going to sleep in our basement. Ooh. <laughs> We've got some new gear, some new sleep systems, and I want to test them out. It's a little bit cold out, um, so we got I think it'll be better to test it out in here, and then maybe when it gets a little bit warmer, we'll test them out outside. Yeah, and we'll show you what we got. Yep. So this is yours, right? No, mine's the orange one. So here's mine. This is the, like a sleeping bag. Mm hmm It's, uh... It makes your body warm, so yeah. Yep, so this is the Coleman Stratus sleeping bag. It goes down to 50 degrees, but it can also be used as a sleeping bag liner. So you can put this inside your sleeping bag and add an extra, what is it? I think it was 12 degrees. Yep, add extra 12 degrees Fahrenheit with so, lining another sleeping bag. So 50 plus 50. So if you have a sleeping bag that's um, 40 degrees, which I think ours is, this will keep you warm down to 38. Dang. Sorry, not 38, 28. We'll be extra warm. <laughs> yep, so we should be extra warm. But this is probably enough for in the house. I don't think it's going to get um, Cold. colder than 50 degrees in here. I hope not. Basement is a little bit chilly. Yeah. Then we got... Um, I'm not going to be reviewing this knife, but this is something new that we got that I haven't tested out yet. This is the Outdoor Edge Survival Series, but it's called the Le Duck because it looks like a duck. We're going to use it to cut the box open. Yep, and um, it's kind of a it's kind of a nice little knife, very inexpensive, um, but I liked it in the store. I'm going to cut them open just because I want to make sure we don't cut our uh, sleeping bag or anything. All right. Uh, but this is actually Nate's knife yeah, I got I, for him. I'm supposed to use that. Yes, he's supposed to use. And we're going to use when we go to camp. Hopefully in May. There we go. Careful with that knife, son. The reason that they call it a gun, a uh, duck, because it's shaped like a gun. I mean, a uh, duck. And so here Wait, we have. They both has two. They have two. Yep, I got two of everything. So this is the REI Trekker 1.75 self inflating pad. Has an R value of 5.6. Now I ordered this online, so it is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. So yours, but I yours. think we'll be okay. Yep, that one's yours. This one's mine. So let's open these up and see how, how it works. I think they're both the same color, so we'll just have to deal with that. I try to get us different colored things, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice green, very pretty. Mm. Oh, I opened. Yeah, do. So that, there you go. And then it's got a couple of straps here. It, it's the straps thing. Does this make us warmer? This is a sleeping pad. So you put this on the ground, it'll make you more comfortable, but it also helps keep you warm by, um, making a cushion between your body and the ground. You can lose a lot of heat through the ground. And so, all right, here's the directions. So you always want to have a sleeping pad, um, especially if it's cold out, but even in the summer, um, you can lose a lot of heat through the ground. Let's see, so it says to open it, um, you, I guess- blow it? Nope, you don't have to blow it up. It should blow up by itself. It says pull to open, push to lock. Hmm. Is it blowing up? Wait, it says, it says pull to open and... Wait, what? It says it's open, so I'm just going to let it sit there. Nope, you have to turn it and then pull it open. And it should blow up on its own. Right. So we'll just uh, leave it to sit here. 
until it's done. And see what happens. And now here we have the sleeping bag. Our sleep bivvies. Sleep bivvies. The REI Co-op Super Light Bivvy. Nice. One pound six ounces. Let's see how this works. That's all my stuff over there. And so that came packed up pretty small. So where do we put them? I just push them off to the side. Let's open this up. Oh, it is full. Oh yeah, they're getting the pattern. So what's the top and what's the bottom? Uh, I think this is the top right there. Okay. Yeah, I, um, I think no problem. Okay, there. Now, it's got some uh, tent poles. So there's like a little, um, see this here, Nate? There's like a little sleeve there. Uh, right here. So look on the top part. There's like oh. a little sleeve. Yep, right so here. just slide that in there. It's like a little pocket. And so you stick your pole in there. Like this. Oh. Which side? Doesn't matter. In here? Mm-hmm. All the way through. I did. Good job. Now you have to find the. Um... I found it. Okay, stick it in there. The little ring goes all the way up. Uh, nope. It just you just put the the end of it in there. All right, like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might have to bend it some. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, just like. Oops. Mine came off again. Well, gotta bend it more than I thought. Like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. You gotta do both sides. Okay, get it. I use it a lot. Yeah. It feels like you're breaking it. Right? It kind of I mean, does. Does it feel like, is it breakable? I mean, yeah, it'll, it will break. I'm sure. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it. Hard to get. All right, so this part seems more difficult than it needs to be. There. Phew. Okay. Let's, and then just lay, we have to leave it. We have to make it stay up. By itself, right? Okay. And the other one. Oh. I don't know how well this is gonna work without the stakes, but maybe we can work maybe rig it up to. to um, we've got some cord at home. I'm not even on screen. We've got some cordage, and here's a little tag here, so we can probably um, 
rig something up here to make this work is what I think. But this is the basic idea, and so it also has that one. You didn't do that one. Yeah, it's sticking in there. Okay. So the reason why I bought this is because um, we're going to be going on a camping trip, and it's kind of a minimalist style trip. But I wanted to make sure that we would stay dry and bug free. So this has a nice little bug net there. Um, we can completely close this down if it starts raining, zip it up tight, and just kind of be in this little cocoon. So we'll leave it open like that and have some fresh air if it's nice and dry and warm. So we got some options. And then it also can be staked down in the back to um, kind of make sure, I guess, it doesn't blow away or anything. So let's stick these in there. Oh, I knocked mine down. Oh, we got easy first. <laughs> we have to make it so they will stay up. Yeah. I think this will help it stay up, too. Okay. So we'll stick that in there, and there should be a, um, like, a little strap, I think. Although I don't see it. I thought there was one to help hold the pad in place. Uh... Slide it in there. That's why we're doing it now. We don't want to have to try to figure it out when uh when we're outside in the rain and the cold and trying to hurry up and set it up. Oh. Just slide it in as best you can. Okay. 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 And mine can loose. That's alright. Okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We'll figure it I out. I need... Let's see. I think I just put it underneath there like that. Okay. Alright. There. You're all set. Okay. Now, put your sleeping bag in. Oh, this is my blanket. Mm-hmm. Your sleeping bag. It's like a, it's a very soft fleece. It feels very nice. Let me feel yours. And it's, um, it's not exactly minimalist, but it's small enough, I think. I think this will be really nice for when we go, um, like, bike camping and stuff like that. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Just stuff it in. Yep, stuff it in. Oh, here for the rest of mm -hmm. All right. Actually, let's see, is the pad blown up enough? Actually, yeah, it looks like it's uh, you see pretty mine? close to filled. See mine? Mine, mine does. Look at mine. Yeah, pretty close, I'd say. I'll probably give it a few more minutes, maybe. All right. So maybe by the time I get mine set up, it'll be all ready. Why are you doing it like that? Um, because I, I just thought it would be easier. 
just the way the angle was going there. They're like people touch each other. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna do that for the same thing going down on the cap? Um, yeah, something similar. But you have to tie on to the tree. Yeah, to the tree, or we can use those stakes. But I don't want to put holes in our mats, you know? Yeah. What do you think? Is this the easier way, or the one to put in the holes easier? Um, I think both would be about the same. It might be a little bit easier to, to do the stakes. Because then you can put the stakes wherever you want, as opposed to, um, I have to kind of do it wherever the poles are. Yeah. But. And wherever the tree is. Mm hmm But I think this will be just fine. Mm -hmm. Mine's a little bit twisted, but I think it's, it's okay. No, yours looks good. Let's test it in space. All right. Let's take a look inside Nate's, all right? Look how roomy that is. It actually looks pretty nice. So let's um take a look here. All right, you ready to get in? Okay, so first thing, let's make sure that this is closed. Here, you hold the camera. So I'm gonna close this up so air doesn't come out. Is it closed? Yep. That's not even dumb enough. Yeah, I I agree. I mean, I don't know how thick it's supposed to get. Cause yours is like the uh, yeah. Yours is like thick. All right, so that's good to know. Um, maybe open open that up. Where am I? Open this up, this valve up early as soon as you get to camp, and let that fill up. Give it lots of time. Good to know. Let's just test this stuff out now because it does seem to go pretty slow. But I think there's enough padding there where you'll be okay for tonight, especially with these mats are pretty soft. All right, crawl on in. <laughs> Is there any like pouches I can like put my glasses? Oh yeah. There's pouches I can put my glasses. Oh good. <sighs> Hard to get in. <laughs> yeah. Is it fine? Yep. It feels nice, but I prefer like this up more. Mm. Yeah, I don't think we can get it up more. I think that's just how it goes. Okay. Uh, you know, I forget, realized we forgot to get your pillow, so I'll get that for you in a minute. All right. But what do you think so far? Good. Yeah? Nice and roomy? Yeah. Where's the pouch to put your glasses? Right here. Oh, nice. Okay. Lots of room around your head. Oh, you're coming out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so what are your initial thoughts? Do you think that this will be good for us? Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to sleep in it all night? Yeah. It's roomier than I thought it would be. Um, it's also a bit flimsy. What's flimsy? Flimsy means it's kind of like sags and stuff. Um, but I think, I think for what it is, for kind of a minimalist type of thing, and it wasn't too expensive, um... A little pricey, but not too bad. I think it's pretty roomy, and I think it'll work. Um, definitely some trial and error for setting it up, but I think I think I'm satisfied. We will check with you guys in the morning and see how it goes. But for now, for now, I think we're gonna turn off the lights and everything and go to bed. I'll get your pillow for you. I gotta get my pillow too, and we'll see how we do. All right, guys, I am inside the bivy and we're getting ready to go to sleep. Um, it's definitely warm in here, warmer than I'd expected. Um, even with the ventilation here, this seems pretty, uh, I don't know, insulating or whatever. I don't think I need this blanket at all. Me either. <laughs> but I do have enough room. 
It's thing. definitely spacious. Yeah. Um, but can't move around a ton. I mean, you can't sit up and things like that. It's but hard to like stretch your leg. I mean, stretch your arms straight up. Yeah, you can't stretch, but I can definitely like turn over and move around and shift. And there's a lot of room in here for you know keeping some extra stuff. You know, like we got. Nate has a lantern in his. Um, I've got my cell phone. We both got our glasses in the little pouch there. So I think this will work. Um, in the hot months, it might be too much. Um, I definitely will be hot in this in, in the summer. But for the fall and the spring. We should put like a fan in here. <laughs> like, a, yeah. like a hand fan like we can hold. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Or, yeah. So uh, we'll check back in in the morning. We'll see how things go after we spend the night in here. And, and, um, and I don't know, maybe tomorrow we'll try outside. Woo! <laughs> that's here with, yeah. the, with the fire. Yeah, that'll be cool. We might do that. All right, see you guys in the morning. Bye. Hey, guys. Well, it is morning time, and we spent the night in our bivvies. And I have to say, it was surprisingly comfortable. I thought it was going to be a bit claustrophobic, but it wasn't. We we both slept just fine. Uh, we were warm. <clears throat> um, the pads, I thought, um, I didn't think the pads were as comfortable as I thought they would be. I'm a little disappointed in them. Maybe we need to give them more time to get more air in there. I expected better. But the thing that's nice about them is like some sleeping pads do, you know, make all that noise, like squeaky and crinkly noises, and those don't. And so that part is nice. And they're nice and wide. It's not tapered. So it, it was quite roomy, but I, I didn't feel like it was as comfortable as some of my other sleeping pads. So I think maybe maybe I can try blowing it up, forcing more air in it, or give it more time to expand. I don't know. Well, that We're going to need some more experimentation with that. But the Biffy itself, I'm impressed with. Um, pretty... It was pretty nice and very spacious. Uh, I was able to, I'm a side sleeper and I toss and turn a lot and I was able to do that as much as I wanted without much issue. I was trying to get them in frame here. Uh, and so we ended up moving them. Nate wanted to be able to see me because sleeping in the basement is a little creepy, I'll admit. Um, <clears throat> he's got his little lantern in there. And yeah, you can zip them fairly easily from the inside. My only complaint that I had is I, I wasn't crazy about the design of this flap. Um, I ended up closing mine at some point during the night because um, I was starting to get a little bit chilly. And when I closed that, it warmed right up like I was fine. And um, I think you do need to keep leap it, leave it unzipped just a little bit just to let fresh air in. Um, so finding that balance. Um, but once I, once I got it right, I mean, I just left like a little opening about that big and I was quite comfortable. Um, but what I didn't like about it is it, it was kind of awkward to do with the mosquito netting there. So trying to close that I'm just imagine, and plus it, see how it, it, the flat lays on the ground and I'm just thinking like, if it starts raining, I'm going to close this, then this is on the ground and it's like getting muddy and everything. And then I'm going to try to get this wet muddy thing and I got to open up my bug net I'm just I'm just not a fan of how that works exactly um, <clears throat> but it's not terrible maybe maybe I can play with it a little bit and uh, it seems like I might be able to zip it while keeping the mosquito the, the way the zippers line up I'm thinking I might be able to zip them both um, kind of do some some kind of system. I'm, I'm not sure, but I was playing with a little bit, but it was like three in the morning. I'm like, eh, I'll figure it out later. So I'll play with these a little bit more. So far, I'm liking them. I'm liking them a lot. I think this was a pretty good investment and is going to be a pretty versatile system for us to use, either as like in a bug out situation or as um, when we do like our bike camping and just little, little things like that because it packs up pretty small. The pads don't. The pads are a lot bigger than I expected them to be. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Haven't decided if I'm going to keep those or not, but I definitely am going to keep these so far. Um, I think it was a good, good investment. 
So I'll play with it some more and I'll probably give you guys an update when we go on a real camping trip uh, on how these work. So again, this is the REI Super Light Bivy. They're about 150 bucks. I got them on sale. They were having a nice sale this past week. And um, so I snatched them up. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this one. I'll try to do uh, some more reviews on some of the other gear that I have as we're getting ready for a camping trip in May that hopefully won't be canceled um, <clears throat> by this coronavirus stuff. And um, we'll see how that goes. All right. Hope this was helpful to you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video.